Good morning and welcome to Nora's Dog Training Company. We're here today with Tank and Fred. And what we're going to be demonstrating for you today on video is Tank's ability to understand and respond to his obedience commands. The correction and the motivation that we give the puppies when we're working with them and the training equipment that we're using. Fred is using a regular six foot web training leash and he keeps the bulk of that leash folded neatly in his right hand. That leaves the left hand free to give the correction. The only correction that we give here at school is a tug and let go on the training collar. And that is the second piece of equipment that we're using. Tank is going to come home with his very own training collar and you're going to be taught how to use that properly during your follow up training sessions. Now, Tank is sitting very nicely at Fred's left, which is where all of our obedience training is done. And the first exercise that they're going to demonstrate for you is healing. The command is Tank Heal, and healing is proper walking on a leash. That means that when you walk your dog, he matches pace with you. He doesn't pop your arm out of the socket, but stays even with your left leg. If you slow up, slow down or speed up, he should do the same. And each time that you stop your feet, whether it's to cross traffic or talk to a neighbor, he should sit automatically without being told at your left and wait for his next command. And the next command that we're going to demonstrate for you is the stay. The stay is a hand and a voice command and it is a stationary exercise so it is a one word command. Your sit stays can be practiced right in your living room and you're going to lengthen out your time and your distance. When Fred returns back to him, he will walk all the way around him as an additional distraction, returning all the way back around to heel position. He gets a little pat for praise and they take off healing again. And if you notice, we don't go over the top with the praise. We don't use food. We're trying to establish, you know, maturity, focus, attention span, behavior. We're not teaching them to jump through flaming hoops. We want to keep everything mellow and low key. He's doing a real nice job with his healing. Nice automatic set. Now, if he, he started to lay down, <laughs> and Fred told him no, and made him do the command as it was taught. So this is your long sit stay. And this time, instead of returning back to him, Fred's going to call him. He uses his name in a happy voice, and Tank has been taught to come right in front and sit not jump, to get praise. And then back to heel and back sitting. Very nicely done. And they will demonstrate that recall exercise again for you. And I think this is a really important exercise for you guys because I want him to know that when he approaches you and comes to you, he, he has to come and sit. So Fred's going to leave him again in a sit stay. On the come command, you do use his name. Praises him on the way in, and he comes right in front. And if he doesn't sit, Fred's going to give him a little correction and have him sit. Then he goes back to heel. Now Fred's going to heal him around and get him back on track. And that's what you do if your puppy has brain freeze. You just go back to something that he does well and do it again. You want to try that recall again one more time, Fred? Of course, they always do this when the camera is on. Fred's going to use his name and call him in. Now you can see he comes in very happily and that time he sat perfectly and goes back to healing. Okay, now the next exercises that we're going to set up for are the down commands. And there are two of those. There's down from a heel position and down from a distance. Always have your dog seated at your left. 
when you're attempting to put them into a down, always from a sitting position, left open palm straight down toward the ground and the one word command to down. No. Down. Stay. Now this is your long down stay and your long down stay again can be practiced right indoors. Three minutes working up to five minutes. Again, this helps to develop attention span and maturity. When Fred returns back to him, he will walk all the way around him. And he should remain lying there until he gets his next command. Fred heals him out of that and we will show you that again. This is your down from a heel position. So with the dog seated at your left, left open palm, straight down toward the ground, the one word firm command to down, and then stay. This time, instead of returning back to him, Fred will call him, praises him on the way in, comes right in and sits, goes back to heel and back sitting. Good. Now the next exercise that we're going to demonstrate for you is your down from a distance. This is a little bit harder exercise because you're not right next to the dog to be able to correct him. So Fred is going to leave him in a sit stay. He's going to turn to face the dog. And with your distance commands you use your right hand. Down. And Fred tells him to down from a distance. And that was pretty good. <laughs> Now we have demonstrated for you all of Tang's basic formal obedience commands on the leash. Your heel, your automatic sit, your stays, your down, your down from a distance, and your come. These are all exercises that you're going to be practicing with him at home. We're going to be there to help you every step of the way. We've enjoyed having him. He's a nice Dalmatian. He's done a really good job here at school. And thank you for choosing Nora's Dog Training Company.